Hey, this is part two of hosting a meeting, which is how to start a meeting and how to manage a meeting. So once you've got a scheduled meeting, you go to start. And when that opens up, uh, you'll see an image here, which is from your webcam. So obviously I've got my webcam pointed up to my ceiling. So you don't have to see my face. Um, the first thing you want to do uh, when you start a meeting is to go to manage participants. And there you see John is actually in a waiting room, waiting to be admitted into the room. So if you're happy with John being there, just click on Admit. And once that happens, obviously you see that's my webcam here, and that's John's webcam, uh, evidently pointing up towards a computer monitor. So some of the things you need to be aware of here, um, as I mentioned previously, you put the mute and the stop video button. This is the perfect way to see whether or not your microphone is working, which is you can see the green um, level moving here. Now, if the other person still can't hear you, get them to click on this arrow and go over to select a speaker and see whether or not they've got the correct speaker selected. Because if your microphone's working and you're not on mute, that means the problem is on their end and they can't hear you because their speaker is not properly selected. And also double check that this video icon doesn't have a cross on it, which means that you're not transmitting video. So over here, you've got security, click on that. You've got a few options here. Um, lock meeting means no one else can join the meeting. Uh, enable meeting room, which is what I just showed you, where you can have people come to the waiting room first before admitting them into the room. And also uh, a few other options here, allowing participants to either share their screen, to chat, or to rename themselves. And you can also remove participants from this menu option here. Over here, you've got chat which opens up this box here, which enables you to uh, have either a group chat or chat to someone in particular. This is useful, particularly if there's technical issues like you can't hear them or they can't hear you, or you can't see them or they can't see you. Down here, you've got share screen, which is a really useful function where you can share your screen and what you're working on to be able to work collaboratively with someone or to show them something. So you click on share screen and it will give you a few options of what screens are currently available and what programs are available. So select the one that you want to share and then just click share. There are also a few advanced options. For example, you can share only a part of the screen or you're sharing just the music or computer sound only or you're sharing the content of a second camera that you may have. Or you can even share from Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive or Box. So when you click on share, the screen comes on and obviously this is what's on your screen and what you can actually work on. Obviously people can't write on this, but they can actually um, make notes on it. Okay, to stop sharing, just click stop share. And the other function you have here is record. We can actually record the meeting and it records to your local hard drive. You can pause it and you can stop it. And lastly, you've got reactions where you can put different emoticons or icons onto the screen, for example, like that. Okay. The other thing to be aware of is that you can also change the views here where you can just have um, your view really small and the other person or people's view really big. Or you click it back to gallery view where everyone is the same size. And this one here lets you enter into full screen. Thanks for watching.